Amazing Grace is a Jollibee Adamson University Soaring Falcons toy from Jollibee. Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. <laughs> yeah, baby. And I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and oh inspiring Percy's Fast Food Toy Story. So for today, as was mentioned earlier ago, our Fast Food Toy Story for today is none other than Jollibee Adamson University Soaring Falcons Toy. Okay, so this will be the last in the series of UAAP Jollibee Toys currently, still currently available in every uh, Jollibee restaurants. Well, if you're lucky enough to still find them because I've visited a couple of the stores and I've noticed that they they hardly have any displays and some stores uh, totally don't have any more displays so that is an indication that um, most of the toys from the UAAP are actually sold out so you better go look for other Jollibee restaurants that still sells them for you to be able to grab a hold of your own UAAP doll uh, UAAP toy or whatever university it's actually promoting okay so I suppose we're lucky enough to actually complete the, the set of uh, the eight universities participating in this year's UAAP uh, namely I don't know if I can still recall them so we have Ateneo de Manila the Blue Eagles U University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons University of the East uh, yeah the Red Warriors <laughs> um, who else uh, the Del Sal University um, we also have uh, ha, 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 sort of uh, University of the East Ateneo, U, U, UST U, University of Santo Tomas Fighting Tigers. <laughs> okay, I think those are eight. And the last would be um, I, the National University. Okay, and now we have the last one. Adamson University. Last but not the least, I suppose. I think uh, Adamson University is quite a formidable um, team in this year's uh, UAAP. So you, you, you shouldn't um, just underestimate the capabilities of the Adamson University. Okay, so once again, this particular bag contains the Jollibee toy with the classic outfit of Jollibee. And then it also comes with this blue jacket of the Adamson University. Okay, it's colored uh, blue and white. These are basically, basically the colors of the Adamson University Soaring Falcons. And um, they really chose this uh, particular symbolism, the falcon, because it's not really a really enormous or big bird. <laughs> It's not the biggest bird that you can find, but its capability of actually soaring high. I think uh, it's uh, the bird that can actually soar the highest, uh, especially when you're trying to target a prey or trying to target an objective. They soar high and then plunge into whatever target that they're <laughs> going after. And it seems uh, apparent that uh, that is a very effective strategy for Edison University. Okay, now let's. Let's open up the jacket. Okay. This is the jacket. Wow, look at that. I'm also wearing blue with white strap. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to make my outfit also color coordinated with the toys that we are reviewing. So, blue, white, and then blue, white. Or, um, the Adamson University Soaring Falcons. Yeah, to support the Adamson University Soaring Fal Falcons. Okay. <laughs> and then once again, this outfit has holes, which is uh, tailor-made for Jollibee. So let's put it on. Okay, dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> There it is, one uh, wing, the yellow wings, one of the yellow wings of Jollibee. Uh, yeah. Then we 
slip the other one okay very successful and then we also put the hand of Jollibee in one of the sleeves you know Adamson University was established it's a relatively new university um, if I'm not mistaken it was uh, uh, actually founded on June uh, 20th of 1932 yeah so 1932 it's not as old as the other universities like USD one of the oldest in fact in the whole of Asia or the Ateneo University or you know UP but I think the university did their share uh, of actually honing or uh, training forming the youths of uh, the Philippines um, very effectively okay it was uh, founded by this Greek um, immigrant um, named um, Lucas Adamson okay so he's actually the one who established the first um, uh, school of uh, the first Adamson University and then in later years it was taken over by the Vincentian fathers well as we all know the Vincentian, Vincentian fathers are actually the brothers um, priests priest brothers uh, who have their uh, inspiration from St. Vincent de Paul okay um, so probably for those of you who are familiar with St. Vincent de Paul he's uh, actually a saint that um, he is very devoted and very dedicated to actually serving the poor so now being the patron saint of uh, Adamson University St. Vincent de Paul that is though so this um, this desire to actually serve the poor also is inextricably inculcated into the consciousness or into the minds of the Adamson University, which is uh, very wonderful. I mean, I mean, especially in this world, we have a limited time here, and what better way to to live uh, this life uh, than to to be of service especially for people who may not necessarily ha have the capacity of reciprocating whatever it is that you can give them but you help them in a way especially when uh, they are in dire situations uh, that would be really something I mean the the opportunity to actually help is reward enough okay you help the poor not because you wanted something anything in return Okay, so that's uh, St. Vincent de Paul, the patron saint of Adamson University. Now we're um, about to snap the buttons of the jacket, the Adamson jacket of Jollibee. Okay, one. We have one, and then here's another one, and then there's the third one. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. So that's it. So this is Jollibee wearing the Adamson University Soaring Falcons jacket ready to cheer for the Adamson University <laughs> Soaring Falcons in this year's uh, 2019 UAAP otherwise known as the University Athletic Association of the Philippines. I got it right. Okay <laughs> After all those eight reviews on the eight universities participating in this year's UAAP, I finally got it That's it. That's UAAP Once again, <laughs> it's University Athletic Association of the Philippines Okay, now some of the great alumni 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 I think uh, well if I were to recall my Latin uh, subjects before alumni would refer to a graduate who is a female alumnus would be the male graduates I think <laughs> yeah alumni would be the probably the plural form of all the graduates okay so when you say alumni uh, this would collectively uh, refer to all the graduates be the female or, uh, female or male <laughs> alumni female alumnus is um, male okay <laughs> so uh, yeah 
Uh, so I'm talking about the alumni. <laughs> alumni will be Nita Blanca, one of my favorite favorite actress, especially during the John and Marsha years. I I thought she's very lovable. Um, uh, you would want her to be your mom. She's funny. Although she belongs to a very rich family, I mean, being the daughter of uh, the Doña Delia Tayatayan, she is obviously very humble. I mean, to be able to marry, um, you know, Dolphy John, who's very poor in a very mendicant um, state of life. Uh, he's basically very, very poor. But uh, she opted to marry this guy because she really loved uh, John. Thus, the very famous, longest running sitcom, family sitcom, John and Marcia, was born. Okay, so Nida Blanca is one of the alumni of um, uh, Edison University, and we also have some basketball players like uh, Kenneth Torrendes and Marlo Aquino. <laughs> so th that's how far I can, I, I can remember. But I do have a lot of colleagues in the Manila Bulletin who are actually graduates of. Uh, yeah, Adamson University. <laughs> a lot of them are really, really working very hard uh, to really m make something out of their lives, to live uh, the 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 inspiration by Saint Vincent de Paul. <laughs> also, okay. Now I must say, this Adamson University Jolly Bee doll <laughs> is just an amazing grace. So once again guys, let's try to be grateful for all the amazing grace that come into our lives be they in the form of this Jolly Bee Adamson University Soren Falcon doll or basically be thankful also <laughs> for Adamson University as we all know this university although relatively young compared to the other universities uh, has also done its share of actually contributing very positively especially in the formation academic formation of the majority of the Filipino youths that enter their uh, doors in the four corners of their classrooms Okay, so basically guys, let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they big or small, be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. So thank you guys for tuning in to First to Pass for Toys, and I hope to see you again with our next one. So until then... I love you Sabado, pati buong linggo, hintay ka lang Jollibee and Janako, masaya buong pamilya, at home sa Jollibee. <laughs> bye bye, see you around, bye.